Well, folks, it's a huge sigh of relief as Wolves win one goal to nil against Southampton this afternoon at St Mary's. It's Dave from Talking Wolves. Uh, Given my thoughts on today's uh, victory, but fantastic to get three points, especially after the last couple of weeks where, you know, really disappointed defeat to get, uh, against Brentford, um, a disappointing loss in the cup and a little bit of pressure was starting to mount on the team and on Bruno Lage. But today, although it wasn't a vintage Wolves performance, wasn't our best performance of the season, we still did what we needed to do and a really, really strong win. Uh, as always, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section uh, down below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Wolves changing up the team slightly today. We saw Jose Sarr starting goal, left wing back Marcel, right wing back Nelson Semedo, uh, Saiz, Kilman and Cody as a back three. We saw Dendonka come in uh, to replace Neves and play alongside Matinho. And then a front three of Daniel Pedence, Raul Jimenez and Huang Hee Chan. Of course, uh, Trincao, uh, Adama and Neves all dropped. And the first half was disappointing. I was really disappointed with how Wolves played in that first half. Just all, all together... Slow, sloppy, uh, very negative, too defensive for me. Uh, Wolves, really, the way we've been conceding goals in open play is by having too high a line. And the first half was almost the polar opposite where the line was just too deep and we were inviting way too much pressure pressure from Southampton and allowing them too much of the ball. Um, from, whenever Dendonka got the ball, his immediate thought was to turn and have his back to... Uh, our attacking goal and always play it backwards. I thought Pedence uh, at times broke down some promising moves, although he started them. Sometimes he was the one that sort of ended them with the wrong decision. So first off, really, I think both teams will be disappointed. We we saw a, a couple of sloppy passes, Marcel, Kilman um, in the first half, but so did Southampton. And we, you know, right in the first minute, actually, Nelson possibly should have scored. Really quick play. Um, Raul getting involved in a lot more attacking moves today, which was good. And so easily, on another day, he could have bagged three goals plus, in my opinion. But half time, to still be a nil-nil despite being disappointing, I suppose, is a positive. And um, second half, we are second half FC, you know that. And the way that Wolves have sort of been reacting under Bruno in the second halves does bode well. Um, and it boded well again today. I, I highly expected maybe someone like Adama to come on at half time. That wasn't the case. Bruno gave the likes of Huang and Pedence a little bit more time. I thought Huang in particular was a little bit quiet today. Um but we got the time in the end and Jose Sarr keeping us in the game for the majority of the second half, forced to make a couple of great saves, um made a really smart double stop as well, although I think it was Che Adams was uh, was offside. But in the end we got the goal and it's that man Raul Jimenez, somebody that we've waited um, almost 10 months to see him score for Wolves in a competitive game. And uh, it did. It felt great. It felt great. I'm sure a lot of Wolves fans out there were getting emotional to finally see Raul score that goal. Uh, probably one of the most unlikely of methods, long ball forward from Jose Sarr. And this is what I was saying about mistakes. But Raul, in particular, that second half, absolutely bullied the back two. I think it was Bednarek and uh, Salisu uh, from Southampton. Proper centre forward, proper number nine play from him. And as he shrugs the one off, gets past the other one um, and then dummies the shot. And McCarthy's positioning is a little bit suspect, but it just allows Raul to roll it into the bottom corner of the net and give us the lead and grab that goal. And you could see the relief off his shoulders. Um, and I thought, honestly, I know he got man in the match today, but I thought he sacrificed a lot today. His work rate was phenomenal. And overall, he had a really, really strong game. And we slowly but surely started to see the Raul Jimenez of old. And he just needs to build on this now. Although we probably should have definitely seen him get at least a goal or an assist right at the end there. I was really, really impressed with his, his the way he worked. And from there on in, we had to defend, uh, which I was a little bit concerned about. We sat deep. But I've got to say, today we defended really, really well. And I know, let's ignore the Brentford game. Other than that, I know we've dropped a number of points. But defensively... We've been okay um, bar that Brentford game. And I'm ignoring the Spurs game as well. But in the league, we've been half decent. And today showed that. Today showed when we want to, we can be capable. I, I did think Marcel was poor still today. Very, very sloppy. Um, but the rest of the back three, I thought, did a job. Semedo uh, looked good and, and, and threatening going forward. Jose Sarr, I've got to say, is probably his best game in a wall shirt. A couple of fantastic stops. Um, second half as well, again, although 
it was handballed by a Southampton player, came really strongly off his line to clear the ball away. Uh, and we held on, we defended, we dug deep, a lot more work rate for, again, Matinho. His work rate was phenomenal today. We even brought the likes of Adama on. Adama, until the end of the game, didn't touch the ball. Um, Neves coming on for the last few moments of the game. Keanu Hoover, we saw again, uh, who came on for Samada. But yeah, right at the end of the game, to put it to bed, Jimenez, similar sort of thing, really, where he's bullied the centre-back to win the ball. I think it was Romeo actually, the defensive midfielder, wins the ball, and he's one of those when you're in two minds. If he pulled the trigger earlier to pass the ball to Adama, I think it would have been 2-0 Wolves. Um, but it just took that extra millisecond, Jimenez, which allowed the defender to sort of cut off the angle. Uh, I don't think Adama will be too happy with it, but I'm not bothered. Wolves have won one goal to nil today. A fantastic win. Be sure to hit the like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hopefully we can build on this now. Two wins um, out of the first six games, is it? Um, but definitely, you know, Bruno Large took a bit of a gamble today. Um has it paid off? Who knows? But uh, fingers crossed we can continue and build the momentum next week against Newcastle. Guys, until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.